Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you how to clean uh, SIG MPX. This is a viewer requested video, so if you already know how to clean the SIG MPX, this video is not for you. Uh, but there are several people who recently purchased a SIG MPX. Just want to uh, share how I clean my gun. It doesn't mean it's the right way, but I clean it and it seems like it's clean. Okay. Anyway, so first thing first, you gotta do the chamber check, right? So this is a California legal version. So first, let's do chamber check. So chamber is clear, holds clear. So once I activate it, it only cracks that much. Then it gets to eject the magazine. Put it back, push it down and up, locked it again, okay? Then let's check again. It's empty. You have to open this up and just push it down and let it open up all the way. And from here, grab the, the charging handle, just pull it back, everything will come out. Slowly pull it up. And the charging handle just comes out. So that's how you take apart the gun. That simple, that's it. Okay. Um, you can't wear the gloves. Let me put it on real quick. Okay, so I got my gloves. Just wipe this down. So Because of this I cannot take it apart. So that's a little bit inconvenient But I just wipe it down with a microfiber towel. Usually it's not oily at all. I have something like this It's a cotton right here. So I just run this through Like these right here. And also I use a q-tip often Okay, at this point, I, I'm not using any of the solvents because uh, you don't need it. You're basically just wiping it down. Okay, so lower receiver is super easy to clean. That's that. And then this is the upper receiver. What you do is these are hard to reach places. You won't be able to clean it with that. So either use a cotton with a stick like this or a cotton pusher. So you put cotton in here, like these, push it through, and then you can clean it that way. But this is more convenient, right? So. Just and then right here, so it fits perfectly. Other side. If you want this to be um, clean, uh, you can wrap it in in cotton, like clean cotton swabs or cotton pads, and you can just make it, you know, something like that. So that's clean. Then you run this through. See. A little dirty. You can see, look at that. Okay, so in there, you can see it right here. So you need a, uh, this kind of a cleaner. It's a bristle, it's a hard bristle. So you put it in there and you just twist it around. Barrel, push this through. And you're cleaning it with a, brass brush so it doesn't scrape up anything uh, window opening so that's why you have to that carbon builder right in there that's why you have this tool to twist it and get it get it loose see that's going in right there right there and then you're twisting that to get that loose in there is clean right now that's it so upper receiver is clean. That's it. And you just wipe this down. It's a one piece. It's a Radiant Raptor LT. If you haven't seen that video that I made, please check that out. So there's a way to clean all this. So you wipe it down with a microfiber towel. You know, I usually don't use any solvent unless there's like carbon buildup. Then I use it. Take that out. You have to get a sharp tool or you can just use a fingernail. I'll just use this to grab that out. Okay, so that's it. This comes out. After that, firing pin comes out. Yeah, it does, see? It comes out. Then, you have to remove that. So you can twist it. So you can twist. That's how you take it out. Okay, see, it comes out. That's it. And this one should just come out. So now you have to clean inside. So if you want to use it, use the solvent, I just, use whatever free stuff that I got. See, there is some carbon buildup here. 
And also this coating is nice because everything just comes off over here. Let's wipe it down. From here, you can still take that out. So get that pen that we removed. And with using this pen, you just push this out here. Slowly just push it out and this comes out, okay? Hold this because there's spring tension. Okay, this came out and this thing comes out like this. Okay, there's a small spring. I oil all the places that have a wear mark. So in there, that has a little wear mark for that, right? So very little oil here. That's it, I just tiny bit. So it doesn't get anywhere. That's it, you just take that down. Grab that pen, that is the thicker part and then that's the thinner area. So just push this through, so it goes in. Now that goes back in here, but I oil this because see all this wear marks a little bit. So like I make a real light coat and then I just spread the oil all, all the way around. Then I put it right here, it goes in. And then if you look around right here in this hole, you'll see there's a circular opening you see that that's where this piece goes in put that piece in this orientation then after it goes in you turn it you went in turn it to the side that's it see I turned it right then this is the firing pin so make sure you clean it and make sure this tip is not broken. So push this down and uh, put the firing pin all the way down. And before you put this pin, you have to push that down. It goes in here, but you have to push the firing pin down, okay? So while pushing that down, you're pushing it physically, you're pushing it down. And there's a spring tension, just push it through. So if you see, that pin is in front of the firing pin. So firing pin cannot ex uh, escape. So that's that. I'm done with cleaning. Oil the entire thing lightly, real light, light coat. And because there's gonna be metal to metal contact, so I make sure it's oiled. I make sure, see there's a wear and tear mark, right? So I oil this lightly too. Wherever it shows a wear, We'll open this up. The charging handle goes first, but don't put it all the way through. Then it goes in this way, okay? So, so this end is the back, the rear. So it goes in automatically and just you just click it, click it in. That's it. You close it. Lock it. Now you gotta do the function test, right? So, lock it three times. Chamber check. See, just let it go to see if there's spring tension. Put the, put it to fire mode. Then press the trigger. See, it worked. Now, cycle it. And put it to safe. There you go. Now this MPX is clean. And we're done. So, you know, you just grab a microfiber tape to towel. You just wipe the body down so there's no oil marks. That's it. So thank you for viewing my video and I'll come back with next one. Thank you.